Yeah, because I'm not buying this. Cause I'm... So you're not buying that Christ was a black man? Jesus was black. Jesus was black. Jesus was black. The color doesn't even matter. It does matter. No, it don't. Everybody wants to take our place. That's right. And how do they take our place? Through crafty counsel. We people coming up to us and question us thinking we don't know what has historically happened. These things historically happened to our people. I am a god. You better not disrespect me. Who I am. I stand where I stand. Got faith in God. He said I The book of Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. So if anybody knows the story of the children of Israel, this was Jacob, and he was prophesying to his sons what would befall them in the last days or what bad things will happen to them in the last days. If anybody knows, we're in the last days. You can okay. look around, see wars and rumors of war, uh, famine, pestilence. America's kind of a bubble, so we really don't see that so much here. But if you look at news sources that are outside of America, social media, where people are able to get things out, it's pretty bad in other countries. That's right. It's really bad. Come on. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons, said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So the last days, the last days before the end of the world. Come on. Gather yourselves together and hear ye sons of Jacob and hearken unto Israel your father. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, in the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power. Unstable as water, thou shalt not excel because thou wentest up to thy father's bed. So when, when you hear Jacob prophesying, he's prophesying, he's giving attributes of his children. And he's also prophesying certain things that will happen to them in these last days. Let's deal with Judah real quick. How do we know that the American blacks are from the tribe of Judah? First, let's deal with the color of Christ. Let's deal with that first. Because this is always one of the, this kind of like the linchpin. Revelations 1 and 14. Come on. The book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. So Christ's hair was white and woolly. When you look back in history, you look back in the history books, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we descend from people of different shades of brown. That's From right. all the way to light, light, light brown, all the way to dark, dark, dark brown. This is going to give you the color of Christ. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because what was one of Christ's first miracles? He did it at a wedding. I got a question. I just thought about something, if it's okay. I know that, like, okay, the Israelites, the tw these are the 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, Yes, the 12 okay. tribes. Those were Jews. Those were the ones that were descendants of Abraham. But the rest of the world were the... Uh, the Gentiles. The Gentiles. Right. Okay, well then, how did the Gentiles fit into the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Benjamin, the tribe you. of Levi? I got you. Hold on. We're going to deal with that. Let's deal, with the, let's deal with the color first to show how we know who Judah is, and we'll deal with the rest of the tribes. Come right, on. Would they not be? They would not be descendants of these guys. So how can we say that Black Americans were descendants of Judah? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. All right, okay. but I'm showing you. I'm setting the baseline for how we know the children of Israel are people of color. They're what they call today people of color, but black, brown, different shades of brown. All right. All right. Come on. Verse 15, in his feet like unto fine bread, uh -huh. as if they burn in a furnace. What's your name, brother? Eric. Eric, what's your name, sir? Leo. Leo, I mean liar. What color is brass? It's like a, it's almost like the color of, pop, pop, color of popper. Like, but, but if, if you look it's at the color, color like, like dark brown, right? It can, it can vary, but it's brown, right? Brass is normally light brown, right? Okay, can you repeat that verse then? Come on. Verse 15. In his feet, like unto fine brass. Fine brass, come on. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you take brass, which is already brown, yeah. and you burn that brass in a furnace, what, are we talking about? what, what color is that brass going to come out? Because your feet is normally the same color as your rest of your body, right, Eric? 
So if you burn, if the rest of the body looks like burnished brass. What's the rest of the verse about? Because that's just one. Was that one yes, verse? Yes, we're talking about the color. Let's get Daniel's 10 and 5. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. What, what, what was that verse? What was that? That's Revelations 1 and 14. That's John on the Isle of Patmos. He's uh, having a vision. And the angel is showing him Christ in the midst of seven candlesticks, which is the menorah. Yeah, because I'm not buying this. Cause I'm, so you're not buying that Christ was a black man? I'm not. No, I'm not. No? The color doesn't even matter. It does matter. No, it don't. Yeah, it does. does it matter? It does matter. So if it didn't matter, then why did they do this? That's right. That's why it matters. First Maccabees 3 and 48. If it didn't matter, why did they have a whole war against blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans called the Renaissance? And who, they who had the war? White people. White people and the rest of the nation. Oh, so since they had the war that black Jesus was black? They had the war and they changed the color of Christ. The church, the Catholic Church, authorized these things. You have Michelangelo. Uh, Donatello, all of the what they what they call the Renaissance era painters, and they painted the Sistine Chapel, and they took all the black images and they changed them to white images. That's right. If that was not a, if it was if it was not an issue, then why did they do this? Why wouldn't they just say there was no Messiah? Why wouldn't they just say that? Then? Because it was war. It's a war tactic. That's what the problem is. It's a war tactic. Where did tactic. you get that from? It's from the Bible, Psalms 83. That it was a war tactic yes. to change the color of Jesus? Yes. It was a war tactic. I want Psalms 83, then I want Daniel 7. You know what I want? <laughs> Psalms 83. I'm going to show you real quick. This, yeah, it's the first time a lot of our people ever heard this. Christ was a black man. There's whole churches hidden. I Paintings of Christ being Israel. black. He was an Israelite. That, that, Israel is in Northeast Africa. Read. The book of Psalms chapter 83 and verse 1. Come on. Keep not thy silence, O God. Listen, Eric, come on. Keep not thy silence, O God. The Middle East is in Northeast Africa. The Middle East was changed That's right. by a British general. It was changed to the Middle East. Africa's a continent. Yes. It's in Northeast Africa on the continent. Read. Oh, not thy beast. And be not still, O oh God. Listen, Eric. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Did you ever know that God has enemies? Uh, yes, God. yes, God has enemies. They're humans, not demons or angels. Humans, read. And they hate thee. And they hate God. Come on, listen, Eric. And have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against. Listen, Eric, they have done what? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. The enemies have taken crafty counsel against God's people, which are the children of Israel. Come on. And consulted against the hidden ones. The hidden ones are those who don't know who they are, which is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. Listen, Eric, listen good. Read. They have said, Come. Let us cut them off from being a nation. What did they say? Come, let us cut them off from being a nation. They said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. How did that happen, Eric? That happened in slavery. That happened during the Renaissance. That's There's right. historical knowledge that's out there. Pope Nicholas V, he authorized the slave trade. That's it was right. him, the Dutch, the French, the British, the Spanish, all of them came to destroy, and the Arabs came to destroy Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to take them from... children of Israel. Right. And they did it because Eric, you paying attention? He not paying attention, Read. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Come on. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. They do not want you to know that you are God's chosen people. That's what they did. The man had an issue with me saying that there was war against black people, Hispanic people, and Native American people. Yes, there was war against us. 
They took us in slavery. They killed, they raped, and robbed us of our natural resources. They destroyed our people in slavery. For over 500 years, we've been in slavery and captivity. And now the yokes are off. They don't have to do it the same way anymore. Now it's mental slavery, psychological slavery. It's still war against our people. That's right. But they have consulted together with one consent. Come on. They are confederate against thee. They are confederate. It's not demons. It's not angels. It's men. Men on earth. The United Nations or the League of Nations. Yes. Read. Verse 6. The Tabernacle of Edom. Who? The Tabernacle of Edom. That's not the name of an angel. That's the name of a person. Edom. Edom, Idumia, that's a nation of people. Edom means red, red man, white man, come on. And the Ishmaelites, the Ishmaelites, who is that? Ishmael, that was the son of, of, of Hagar and Abraham through what? That was his concubine, his, it, that was his wife. That it went against, they went before God, before Isaac was born. Come on. Of Moab, Moab. That's the Chinese today. Read. And the Hagarines. The Hagarines. That's more Africans or Egyptians. Come on. Gibal. Gibal, come on. And Ammon. Ammon. That's the Japanese. Come on. And Amalek. Amalek. That's another. That's a tribe of Edom. That's what you call today the so-called Jews. This is in the Bible. And it's historically, you can see it. Read. And the Philistines, come on, with the inhabitants of Tyre, right. Assyria, also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot. They have helped the children of Lot. Who is that? Moab and Ammon. These are all the people that came against blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's and what did they come to do? Read the part where it said they have wanted to cut them off from being a nation, a nationality. They did not want us to join together as one people. Read. Verse 4. They have said, go, let us cut them off from being a nation. Read. The name, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. What is the name of Israel? As a prince, we have power with God. As a prince, we have power with God. That's why everybody wants to take our place. That's right. And how do they take our place? Through crafty counsel. What they call eugenics. See, you, we people come against, come up to us and question us thinking we don't know what has historically happened. These things historically happened to our people. Nation is men leading by example. 